Andy, it's fair to say nothing really frightens Starag, does it? I mean, look at some of these applications. Just tell us about what we've got here and you know why some people might think this is impossible to do, but you guys tackle it. Well, this, this is a high chrome nickel alloy, so it's a difficult material to cut. It's, it's not just the material, it's the actual features that are within this component that are extremely challenging. So very, very deep pockets that you have to machine from both sides to get a perfect blend in the middle. Yeah, I mean, when, when you look at something like this, the, the, the cost of this sort of part, the cost of the material, you just can't be making a mistake, can you? You know, you, you've got to get this right first time, haven't you? So you've got to engineer your solution around that too. Well, that's exactly what we do. We, we know the capabilities of the machines very well, and there's a lot of sensor and feedback type technology within these machines to enable us to know what's going to happen, what the behavior will be. But we've got to use a lot of our existing know-how and experience, combine that with the, the design of cutting tools, tool holders, uh, assemblies, so we, so we know the kind of reach and the performance of long, small tools, we build and design our own fixtures, so, so the work holding is all controlled by Starag, and then we machine the part complete. So this is a turn mill solution. So you're going to turn the uh, turn away, obviously, and get it to this state that you've got here, and then there's some serious milling that's got to be done in the sides here, isn't there? And around from, from the sides and from the top. So we, we, we kind of meet in the middle with the process. So we're very, very reliant on the um, the, the programming and the simulation of the programming to ensure that the, the digital twin, if you like, is going to behave in the same way as the machine's going to behave. And then we're very reliant on the machine to perform. Uh, this is a segment then of, of what we have here, which would be the finished part. So this is where you're trialling that, that machine, Absolutely. yeah? So we've already cut one, as you've seen. This is for a second trial, just to validate that what we've done is, is, is going to repeat and perform. And once that's done, we will cut a series of pockets all around the, the, the diameter of this component, which we've already turned, as you can see. But the challenges of getting those tools in there, um, you know, what are those? That what are the problems that you can encounter with such difficult machining operation? Well, firstly, you've got very long tools, and then you've got awkward positions to reach to. So you need a machine that's got. A lot of rigidity, but a lot of flexibility to be able to access these features. We've got this is the STC machine, which you've seen, so you know the you know the head configuration, and the behaviour of the head is very important because it's not a completely symmetrical head. Um, as as you get thermal behaviour, you could get a twist if you like. So we need to know exactly where the 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 cutting part of the tool is in relation to the machine controller at any time. So we within. The head, we, we, we've got um, a, a number of temperature sensors either side. And by knowing the behavior of the head and the temperature of the head, we've got algorithms that put the tool tip in exactly the right point. And, and you've got to get the best surface finish, you've got to get the right tolerance, because these are like cool, cooling chambers, aren't they? For, for they are, better they word. are. Yeah. I mean, just forgive me, Lee, but why wouldn't someone just then forge this or cast this with these pockets in it? I have no idea. It, it may be that this particular material can't be cast. You have to machine it from solid. It could be down to the material characteristics. We're not bothered about that. People come to us and say, this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Our job is to deliver that. So we don't just sell machine tools. It's all about the solution with Starag. And I've seen how long it takes. Do you want to tell our audience how long it's going to take to actually machine this part? Well, I can't say exactly, but it's, it's sub 300 hours. 